What's up guys, Jay Yudlowski, Focus Photography and Design, helping you focus on your photography. Today I want to talk a little bit more about ISO and run through a couple of images after practicing using my ISO. So let's get into it. So in my last video, ISO Basics, which you could see if you click up over here, I went through ISO, what it is, and how the ISO affects the sensitivity of the image sensor on your camera to light. I also talked about how when you raise your ISO, it introduces noise and grain into your images. So I had mentioned that in order to practice your ISO, one thing you could do is put your camera in the P mode. And then this way, you can select the ISO and your camera would select uh, the aperture and the shutter settings so that you would get a pretty much a good exposure uh, based on whatever ISO you picked, but you could get into the habit of changing your ISO, giving it a shot, and uh, just seeing how it functions. So I thought I would do the practice routine too. So first I have my 60D. Uh, I took some pictures of salt and pepper shakers. I did it on a black background because most of the time you start to see noise first in the shadows or in the blacks of your image. So I'm just gonna run through real quick here from ISO 100. Now if I zoom in, you can see the background's clear. Now, uh, it is a little bit blurry because it's at f2. I used my 51.4 on my Canon 60D, and the camera was choosing the shutter speed and the aperture, and I just went up ISOs from 100 all the way up to uh, 6400, then the high setting. So let's run through these real quick. Here's ISO 100, ISO 200, looks pretty much the same. ISO 400, still looks good. ISO 800. So you can see a little bit of grain starting to creep in there. ISO 1600, a little more grain, but still not bad at all. ISO 3200, I'm gonna zoom in, you can start to see a little more grain creeping in. ISO 6400, now you can see it's a fairly grainy image here when I zoom in one to one. And then the high setting, which is 12,800 on my 60D, Canon 60D. And you can see that's very grainy. Okay, moving on to the 5D Mark IV. Here we have ISO 100, ISO 200, ISO 400, ISO 800. I'm gonna zoom in here and you can see it's still very smooth background there. Let it load up a second, very smooth background. And again, the 5D Mark IV obviously is gonna have much better image quality at higher ISOs than the Canon 60D. ISO 1600, ISO 3200, very, very slight amount of noise. ISO 6400, ISO 10,000, you start to see it creeping in a little bit more here. ISO 16,000, and again, in these images, I haven't changed anything, I haven't adjusted anything, it's just straight out of the camera. ISO 25,600, and now you can see we're starting to get pretty green here on the uh, 5D Mark IV. ISO 32,000. ISO 51,200, and you can see we're fairly grainy here, and ISO 102,400. And now just to show you another image uh, in a real world situation where it's dark outside and you would be raising your ISO, here's an image that I shot. Uh, it's at a zoo, and I just thought it looked cool with the wheel, the fence, the lights. So here I have, uh, I have it developed and uh, processed, and I put some noise and reduction on it. So I'm gonna zoom in here, and you can see, okay, it looks kind of smooth. Not too bad. I'm going to go over to the develop module here by pressing D. Okay, over here in the develop module, I'm just going to come down to the detail panel and I'm going to turn off the detail, which is sharpening and noise reduction. And now you can see that color noise come in here. A lot of uh, color noise. It gets much more grainy, uh, more noise in there. So you can see the noise reduction in Lightroom does a pretty good job. I'm going to turn it back on. And it cleans the file up pretty nice with the noise reduction there. Okay guys, so there you go. There's a couple images that I took using just ISO and letting the camera make the rest of the adjustments to the settings just to help practice. I hope that you guys were able to try this out and practice using your ISO. Comment below if uh, you tried it and what you thought, if it helped you out, if it helped you understand anything a little bit more. And uh, I hope that you know this gave you a little bit more information that maybe you didn't have before. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe if you're learning something and you enjoy my channel. And thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.